Do you want to stay on the show? Not necessarily, no. I think that I need to move on. I need to do my own thing. I think this should be the end. After nearly 13 years, Kaylin Lowry is saying goodbye to the Teen Mom franchise. I literally wake up every day and I'm like, wow, I'm on TV and I have four kids. Like, what is life? <laughs> I, I literally don't know what it's like to, to not be on TV anymore, but I also am like, is this real? Kaylin made the big reveal during her virtual appearance at the Teen Mom 2 reunion, which had co-hosts Dr. Drew and Nessa in total disbelief. Do you want to stay on the show? Not necessarily, no. I think that I need to move on. I need to do my own thing. Hmm. I'm not going to say goodbye to her today, am I? I'm not going to say it was... If, if I don't you're know. Not... I feel like we should. Really? I feel like Whoa. we should say Yeah. This is like a breakup right now. I think this needs to be my I wasn't ready for this, Kale. I think I'm ready. I think that we just should part ways. I think this should be the end. Of course, Kaylin made her debut on 16 and Pregnant in 2009 alongside her then-boyfriend, Joe. The two welcomed their son Isaac in January that following year. Isaac, you want some bacon? We haven't officially gotten back together because we're still on shaky ground. But right now, I have to put our relationship aside because it's my first day of school. Then in 2011, Kaylin joined the cast of the franchise's spin-off, Teen Mom 2, where she's documented her growing family. In 2013, she welcomed son Lincoln with ex-husband Javi. They split in 2017. Then she started dating Chris. They've since split, but share sons Lux and Creed. You're so smart and you're caring and you're a good big brother. And you're a good friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> now that we've been in the public eye for so long, even if we were to leave the show, they still feel like they know us. The bigger picture is that we have a good time with it. We've met really cool people. We've ha we've inspired people. We've, we've lowered the teen pregnancy rates. And so you look at the bigger picture, you're like, okay, I did this for all the right reasons. When E.T. caught up with Kaylin in 2020, after over a decade of sharing her life on TV, she opened up about how she'll know when it's time to walk away. I guess when it becomes more of a stress in my life, like. Filming is stressful, but not stressful enough to walk. I don't know. As of right now, I mean, I would continue as long as they're they're asking me to, and as long as people are watching, and it's and it's you know still what it is. Um, but tomorrow that could change, so we don't really know. And now she finds herself at the end of her journey on the show. I think I'm ready. I think that we just should part ways. I think this should be the end. You will be a huge loss because I have deep affection for you. And you know you helped uh, turn the, the tide of teen pregnancy in this country. You helped do that. I hope so. I hope I had a, a small part in that. Kaylin's exit comes just days after MTV announced they're rebooting the Teen Mom franchise by combining the cast of Teen Mom OG and Teen Mom 2. But don't count Kaylin out for any spin-offs in the future because she also told ET this. I think if there if it was a if, if it was the right fit, I definitely would do another show or or, or a spin-off. Um I did marriage boot camp before, and so um that was crazy. But yeah, I think if the shoe if not the shoe, if if the show was a right fit, yeah, I would do it.